In this episode, I'm going to show you why every photographer should use Lightroom. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramy. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. And in this short episode, I want to show you why every photographer should be using Lightroom. Check it out. Why should every photographer use Lightroom? This is a great question. You know, when I heard about Lightroom years ago, I was just using Photoshop and I would, you know, go into Bridge and open one photo into Camera Raw and retouch it. And then, you know, eventually, uh, you know, uh, take up, up another photo and another photo. And it just would take a lot of time to, to retouch a photo. Now, I show you how you can do this in Lightroom much faster. This is a shot that I did of tunnel view in Yosemite. Yosemite, I don't know how you say it in English. And um, so usually what I do is I'm going to give you some free presets that you can download. The link is on the video. It's all free. You just click on it and some of it I'm going to be using for this. But for example, I'm going to go into my natural everyday preset and I'm going to click on the golden hour. I think it's the one that, that worked great with this one is a golden hour linear circle light. I think the one I'm giving you for free is called golden hour linear. But, you know, same idea, I'm going to use the one I'm giving you for free so you don't get confused. And also, I'm going to give you a video on how to install them and how to use them with a lot of examples and raw files, all free, it's under the video. So, uh, I'm going to do my black point, which is way too strong. So, you see, uh, with Photoshop, you can use presets, but it, you cannot have radial circle and linear gradients in your preset. That's one major downside of, of uh, Photoshop presets. So... Okay, so you know all I did is my black and white, and then I'm gonna go here into my linear gradient, which you can have in Lightroom, you don't have in Photoshop, and I'm just gonna lower the exposure, maybe, uh, maybe even add a bit more blue, you know, something like this, and I'm gonna use this magic trick of luminance here that I use all the time now, if you've got Lightroom CC, so that my sky is not affecting so much El Capitan here. What it does is that it creates a little mask, you know, and remember how mask works? which is black conceals and white reveals. So you want the sky to be white and you want El Capitan to be, you know, grayish dark. This way, uh, my gradient is influencing mostly the sky. Okay, then once you've done that, uh, you have to go into, I'm gonna lower this one, you have to go into the circle if you use one of my presets. Uh, and the circle is basically s center of attention. I'm gonna move this one here, I want people to now this is way too much to have attention in the center of the photo, uh, but not that much. I went a little overboard on this one, but you can just lower the, you know, the attention. And then I, uh, I think on this one I add, I might add a couple of more circles. So I'm gonna gr click and drag. Uh, I'm gonna go here to uh, exposure, uh, invert the circle, and just add a bit of clarity and exposure. Uh, usually I don't go over like 0 0.4, uh, you don't want it to be too much, yeah, just a little slightly. And I just want to, you know, I, some of these trees were nice. Uh, I, I'm going to duplicate this and maybe add this a little bit here on this beautiful bride veil full. I love going to Yosemite, it's about four hour drives from my house and it's just heaven. I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven and I love Yosemite, it's just... Ooh, one of the National Park, you just, I, when I go there, I'm like, I feel, you know, the, you feel the power of nature. Okay, that's good. Maybe add a bit of contrast, maybe boost the overall exposure. So you see, I use the preset as a starting point, but like my photo is mostly retouched. But, you know, I shoot manual. So that means that for every photo that I have, I have, you know, the same aperture, the same uh, f-stop, uh, this is the same shutter speed, the same ISO, okay? So these three photos, you see I put a color, I prepared this tutorial, have the same settings, so I can just right click, click synchronize, uh, make sure to check all and synchronize. And now all I did uh, has been done on this photo and I can decide right away which one I like the most, you see? Uh, I can even, usually I can just press N on my keyboard, shift tab, and you can, I can see the different photo that I did and see which one I like the most. You know, that is so cool. Uh, you know, that's something you can't do, you know, using uh, using Photoshop. Let me show you an another example. Uh, this is the same series of photo. I can still copy what I've done, so, you know, in the uh, first version onto this photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the last photo and I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click on synchronize. Oh, you have to go to the develop menu for that. 
uh, that's a mistake I do very often. So I go here, synchronize, th synchronize. And so I'm going to use as a starting point for this three series of photo, which have a different f-stop and exposure, the same settings that I did. I'm just going to, uh, because this, I'm just going to make it brighter. I'm going to make my black point a little bit brighter. Uh, no, black is good. So black, you want to have like two, three, I always like to have two, three percent of the photo in pure black. What you see in yellow and red is pixels which are pure black. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And now that I did that, I can just click in the, the next three one and click on synchronize. Boom. And I can press, you know, N on my keyboard, shift tab. And now I can see all three photos and, you know, and I can, of course, fine tune them, you know, put the circle at the right place. But you get the idea. I actually love all of these photos. They, they, they look pretty awesome to me. Uh, and voila, that is why, that is the power of Lightroom. You know, uh, if you're not using Lightroom, you should really check it out. Also, I'm going to give you for free a lot of Lightroom presets, Lightroom training. All you have to do is click on my welcome kit, which is right below this video. Thank you so much. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you would like to learn in Lightroom, in Photoshop, in photography. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be really nice. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. And I will see you in another. Thank you so much, guys. And I will see you in another video.